The rotor or rotary wing is the most important part of a helicopter. The rotor of a helicopter is shaped like the wing of an airplane so that when air is flowing over the top it moves faster than air along the bottom creating lift. A helicopter's rotary wing an airplane's fixed wing. Rotors can have two blades or three blades, four blades, or even more. A tail rotor to keep the helicopter itself from spinning around and around. Another way to keep the helicopter from spinning is to have two main rotors spinning in opposite directions. These could be mounted on either end of the helicopter as in tandem or the counter rotating props could be mounted one above the other. On this quadricopter the black rotors turn clockwise and the red rotors turn counterclockwise. Some remote control helicopters don't have a body at all. This one has the engine, counter rotating blades, a stabilizer bar, all enclosed in a cage. With counter rotating blades, a tail rotor is not needed. Without a tail rotor, the body of a helicopter can be any shape, including fairies, emojis, or even astronauts. And some helicopters have a stabilizer bar on top of the main rotors. The part that connects the main rotor to the body of the helicopter is called the mast. And the part that connects the tail rotor to the main body of the helicopter is called the tail cone. When the boom is covered and there is room inside of it, it becomes part of the body or the fuselage of the helicopter. The cockpit is where the pilot sits. With tandem rotors there is no boom. The entire body is the fuselage. Some helicopters have regular landing gear or wheels for their undercarriage. These wheels are usually in the tail dragger or conventional configuration. Sometimes helicopters don't have wheels. They just have skids. Some helicopters have what look like little wings coming out the side. These are called sponsons. Some helicopters also have a horizontal stabilizer. And even though their rotors may look like propellers, most helicopters nowadays are powered by jet engines. This one has two jet engines, and this one does too. When you see a real helicopter, you'll be able to identify the tail rotor, the main rotor, the cockpit, the mast, and the skids.